What's going on everybody? My name's Jake Webb and I'm going to be introducing to you our first ever episode of the Highlander Highlight where you get to learn more about Kelso High School and see what goes around on our campus. And this segment is the Highlander Heartbeat where we get to ask people our important questions and get more insight on our Kelso Highlanders. Who do I have the pleasure of being here with? Ashley Faust. All right, Ashley, what'd you do over the summer? Just played basketball. You got any offers? Nope. <laughs> Not yet? No. You gonna get some? I don't know. You hope so? Well, I guess. All right, dope. So who am I with here today? We're here with Tyler Davis. Okay, Tyler Davis, what'd you do over the summer? Uh, over the summer, I went to Maui uh, for a couple weeks, actually, so that was really fun. And the rest of the time, I just hung out with friends. Nothing much else. That's good. So what's your name? Salvador. So our question is, what you do over the summer? Um, I went to Mexico. Uh, I was just chilling. Just chilling. That was pretty much it. That's lit. Uh, okay, who am I here with? Ocean. Hi, Ocean. Uh, what'd you do over the summer? I went on vacation to Utah. What'd you do in Utah? Um, spent time with family. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So who am I with here today? Uh, Parker. So Parker, what you do over the summer? Uh, I stayed home most of the day, like all of summer. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I went over to a friend's house a lot. That's lit. All right, who am I here with? Evan. All right, Evan, what'd you do over the summer? I uh, went on vacation. Where'd you go on vacation to? Uh, Minnesota, Disneyland, and a few other places. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty all right, who am I with? Judah collects you. All right, Judah, what'd you do over the summer? Uh... Hung out with some friends, worked out, just chilled, yeah. Alright, uh, so here was Holly, one of our new freshmen. So what you do with the summer? I went to Wild Waves. What you do there? Uh, wa it's a water park, I mean. You go with his friends? Yeah. That's lit. Yeah. Alright, who am I here with? Connor now. Alright, Connor, what'd you do over the summer? Uh, hung out with friends, worked out, just chilled. What'd you do with your friends? You know, hang out. <laughs> Who do I have the pleasure of being here with? My name is Nancy Karnofsky. Thank you, Nancy. So we had a special question for you. What do you do over the summer? I did a road trip with my family. We went and drove from um, Washington State here to the Midwest, visited national parks. That's nice. So who do I have the pleasure of being here with today? Cameron Madison. Okay, Cameron. So what you do over the summer? Uh, I ran a lot. <laughs> Like 300 miles ish. Bruh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, who am I here with? Mr. Smale. Alright, Mr. Smale, what'd you do over the summer break? I did a lot of good things over summer break. My highlight was driving down the California coast from Kelso, Washington to uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Did a bunch of cam camping, hanging out on the beach. It was a great time. That's just so, uh, yeah. <laughs> And now we're going to introduce our new principal, Miss Stewart, and get to know her and why she is here at Kelso High School. So, why Kelso? Why Kelso is so special to you? You know, Kelso's a great place. We're a one high school town, which makes us unique. We've got over 1,500 kids that go to school here, and we all still come together as one community into one high school, one graduation, and that's a unique place to be, and not a lot of towns get that opportunity. So that's why I really like being here, and I'm from here, and I plan on staying here. So this next question, I bet you could say a lot of things about it. So I heard you fish. <laughs> Can you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, I do fish. So my husband and I own a charter business. So that's what I get to do all summer and on the weekends all fall. And that's what he does for his job. So fishing is a huge part of our life. So if I'm not at work, I can probably be found on a water somewhere. Yeah. So what's like the biggest fish you've caught? This season? Yeah. Uh, I had a 32 pound king this season, uh, August 10th. So that was the biggest one. And biggest one ever on the Columbia is for 43 pounds for me. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. Do you have any pets? We used to. Um, if you ever go to my office, you'll see lots of pictures of our cats, but they both recently passed. So we are pet free, but we do have neighbor cats that we often take in in the evening for company. <laughs> That's good for you guys. Uh, where did you go to college at? Uh, where did I go to college at? I went to Lower Columbia College, which is a great school. Went there for two years, finished an associate's degree, went to Washington State, finished uh, undergrad in bi uh, biology, minor in chem, and then did my master's up at Seattle Pacific University. Out of all jobs, 
you've ever had, what's your favorite job? Oh gosh. Uh, Probably teaching high school chemistry, honestly. That is a super fun class with super fun kids and you get to burn things, I guess, and blow stuff up, so it's a good time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so what is your uh, most hated song? Oh, most hated song. Uh, probably the chicken dance. Not a big fan of that one at weddings. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what app do you use the most? What app I use the most? Probably my Outlook calendar right now because I'm working two jobs, being the principal at Kelso High School and guiding on the weekend. So that piece of information is critical for me to stay on target. All right. What's your favorite movie? Oh, I don't watch movies. I don't like movies. I don't have the attention span for movies. So I don't like any of them. So we'll say none. What about a TV show? Ooh, favorite TV show, The Office. I'm a huge fan of The Office. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, who would you play in a movie? Who would I play in a movie? Uh, I like Aaron Brockovich, if you've ever seen that one with Julia Roberts. I'd do that. All right. <laughs> Thank you uh, for doing this interview with us. And have a nice day, guys. Thank you. And this segment is the Student of the Week, where we pick a student that shows our best Kelso pride in the classroom. Hi, guys. My name is Alexa Rasmussen, and I was chosen this week as KHS's Student of the Week. I hope you enjoy. Question one is, how does it feel to be Student of the Week? And it feels pretty amazing because it feels good to be picked for this position because there's so many students here that are better than me, I think, and that are more involved in the school and have better positions than me. And so it's nice to be picked. Question two is, have you ever been picked as Student of the Week before? And I really haven't been picked before. I mean, elementary school, you get picked to be like student of the week and like you get to be a poster, you get to make a poster and you get to like bring in your favorite book and stuff like that. But that's the only thing I've been picked for and everyone gets picked for it. So I don't think I would consider that as being special or anything. So, yeah. Question three is, are you involved in any clubs or sports? And I'm only involved in one club. I'm involved in ASL club. You should join. We're really fun. And I do track. I didn't do it last year, but I'm going to do it this year, and I've done it years before, and it's really fun. Question four is, what do you like the most about KHS? And I like how nice the teachers and, like, everyone is. The whole staff is nice here, and they make you feel, like, really welcome, and, like, they don't, like, make you feel like you're just here to learn. They, like, actually care about you, and they'll care about your feelings. Like, if you want to go talk to a teacher about something, they'll actually listen, and it's just a nice environment. Question five is, what's your favorite subject in school? And mine would have to be history because I like learning about like what happened in the past and like everything that made us to where we are today. And it's just really fun and yeah. Question six is, what do you like to do outside of school? And I like to hang out with friends. I like to go like walk around, take walks. I like walking by like walking on the river, on the dike and stuff, it's pretty fun. And I like hanging out with my dogs and cats because we have a lot of dogs. And that's basically what I do. <laughs> Question seven is, if you could do anything for a day, what would it be? And I would probably lay in bed, watch TV, and fall asleep, and then just sleep the whole day away. And just have a lazy day. <laughs> Question eight is, how would my friends describe me? And I'm really shy when you first meet me, like I don't like talking that much, but if I get to know you and I'm really comfortable with you, I don't stop talking. I like to ramble a lot and just talk about random stuff. I like, sometimes I'll share stuff that I'm not allowed to share. Like if it's like a secret from another friend, I'll accidentally share it. So yeah, and I'm also like the friend that's always there for them. Like I will always be there for my friends. They're always there for me, so yeah. Question nine is, what's your favorite meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? And mine would have to be dinner because that's like the most filling f meal you have. I don't really eat breakfast at school. Like during the school week, I don't really eat breakfast, I don't really eat lunch. And so when I get home, I have dinner and it's just really good because my dad's also a good cook and he makes the best dinners ever. So that would, I would have to pick dinner. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We do this every week, so make sure to check in next week for the next week's year of the week and listen to them answer their questions. This is Jake Bye. Webb 
reporting live in the studio. This segment is our Kelso News Update, where we give you the news around the school and give you the insight of what you should know. My name is Jackson Toms, and here is this week's KHS News. To be able to park in the high school parking lot, you must acquire a parking pass, which are available in the office, so go get yours today. Also, Key Club will be doing a candy drive for a community house. Bags of candy can be brought to Mrs. Salvage's room. Don't forget, GSA will meet on Mondays at 2.30 in room G2, and Choir Council will meet Tuesdays at 2.30 in room G2. These are weekly meetings. If you purchase an ASB, don't forget to pick up your ASB sticker for your student ID form in the ASB office. You can do this during lunch or after school. If you have not yet purchased your ASB and would like to, please see Ms. Cox in the ASB office. A friendly reminder to our supportive Highlanders, remember, masks are required at all sporting events with more than 500 people attending. And now here is Ari with sports. Hello Highlanders, my name is Ari Cassie and I will be giving you all the updates on Kelso Highlander sports from the current week. Softball won three games this week. On Monday, they beat Union by a score of 15 to, to 3, and on Wednesday, they beat Skyview by a score of 9 to 4. On Thursday, they won 17 to 11 over Evergreen. Our slow pitch team is currently number one in state. Keep it up. Our volleyball team played Battleground on Tuesday and won 3 and 0. They now improve their overall record to 4 and 2. Our girls swimming team had an amazing week as well. Angie Eugenis won two events, completing the 200th free and finishing with a time of two minutes and six seconds, and the 100th backstroke in one minute and seven seconds. Piper Gallagher finished third in the 100th fly with a time of one minute and 30 seconds. Last Friday, our Kelso football team beat Perry by a score of 33 to eight. Man, that's whooping. The next game is Friday, October 1st, home against Mountain View, and it's neon out, so make sure you dress up bright. Lastly, a friendly reminder to our supportive Highlanders, remember, masks are required at all sporting good events with more than 500 people attending. Have a good day. And this segment of our show is the Athlete of the Week, the person that played their best and gave it all they had. How does it feel to be the first Athlete of the Week? Uh, first off, I want to say thank you to my O-linemen, each and every one of you, protecting me, keeping me safe, and it um, feels great to be first Athlete of the Week. What was your favorite part of your most recent game? Definitely beating Prairie. It's always, always feels great to beat those guys. When did you start playing football? Uh, I want to say when I was seven years old. Do you play any other sports? If so, what are they? I do. I play baseball. Who is your favorite sports hero? I want to say Michael Jordan and his, uh, how, he, how he performs, how he, his work ethic, and how he sets a tone as a leader, as a teammate. What's your favorite sports quote, like off the top of your head? Uh, Never give up. What's your all-time favorite moment while playing football? Uh, playing in Seattle Memorial Stadium. It always feels like a pleasure playing there, like a reward. Do you think attitude is a factor in winning? Always. You always want to have a good attitude to win. If you, it's a bad attitude, it's not going to be what you want to happen. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much are you enjoying football and why? 10. It's this team I'm with right now, I'd, I'd die for those guys. It's, it's, it's different this year than as it's ever been. What's one goal that you wish to have accomplished by the end of the season? League champs and a big, big playoff run this year. I think we're, we're really good this year to perform at the level we can. Hello Highlanders, my name is Ari Cassie and I will be giving you all the updates for our on- <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hello Highlanders, my name is Jackson Toms and here is this week's KHS News. It's not, we didn't press play. No, I mean on. Welcome to our first annual. And this segment is, show these two, okay, yeah. Three, two. And this last segment is called our news up segment where we tell you the best news of COVID. And this segment is where we acknowledge our very good student athletes. No. Welcome to the first ever Highlander Highlight. You're probably wondering, what is the Highlander hi Highlight? Yeah. I always want to say hotspot. <laughs> and these new next two segments are going to be sponsored by Varsity K. The first one is our student athlete of the week. The second, is it not? All right, we're gonna bring two segments for you today. Uh, the first one is gonna be uh, Varsity K Athlete of the Week. And then the second one. <laughs> All right, for the next two segments, they're gonna be sponsored by Varsity K. The first one is our Highlander of the Week. Highlander of the Week. All right, for the next two segments, they're gonna be sponsored by Varsity K. The first one is the Highlander Highlight. So, you guys have probably wondered, what is this all about? Well, let me tell you. This is all about... Uh, cut it. Got it. Ah, uh, nah, 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 nah. Wait, when is it done? Hayden Yor. All right, Hayden, what's your name? I mean, shoot. Oh, <laughs> all right, what's your name? Hey, Jameson Chesley. Yeah, mask up. Hey, let's get part here. Uh, all right, so who am I with here today? Uh, Bryn. So, Brent, what you doing this summer? Um, I went swimming a lot. That was, I mean, that was pretty cool. That was lit. Yeah, like a river and stuff. I bet. Who do I have the pleasure of being here with? <laughs> I need your name. Alright, who am I here with? What? Wait, what? I did not. Sorry, I didn't. Oh.